guys so i wanted to do this video for you all on i was put on my makeup this morning and it just occurred to me that i was forcing myself to use some products to finish them up because they have been in my collection yes some of them are old um i've been trying to use up things in my collection and that has caused me to really and truly regret wearing some makeup because the products are not working and but i love them at some point so like the title says this video is just me sharing with you products that i loved but they're just not working for me anymore and i just need to get them out of my collection as in maybe stop using them throw them away um some of them are also here i wouldn't feel bad throwing those away others are not so old but I am forcing myself to use it and so because of that I am not really into like wearing a certain look or you know put on makeup and using it it's just like making me feel down so first product I love this brand love this powder and this is a Jordana Forever Flawless Press Powder. I love these. But this color is creamy beige. And because it's... you can see, I've actually hit pan on this. I use it quite a bit. But it's just too light now. And I don't like the texture. I do think it's old. I am seeing little... I don't know why I'm still wearing it. But I'm seeing like little bumps and stuff in it. I've been forcing myself to use it to set my under eye. Because of course it's bri brighter a lighter shade than my powder current powder but i find it's making my face look horrible i don't like it it feels heavy um i'm gonna put it in my empties next will be this la colors truly matte long wearing high pigment foundation the cap is horrible i don't know this is such a messy foundation i bought it in warm honey as recommended by the person who was there selling this brand at Pennywise when I was in Trinidad last year. I, so this is about four, four or five months old. Um, and oh, I hate it. I don't, I mean, I think it's, it gives like a really good coverage, but it creases on me. I have to mix it with another foundation and then it's so messy. I've been forcing myself to try to mix it and use it. I don't like it so I'm not gonna I don't know if I'm gonna keep it and just maybe an idea I had is put it in a jar pump it out in a jar mix it into with another foundation the other foundation that I was mixing mixing it with which was my Maybelline dewy and another one that was um, another Maybelline that was light coverage and it was working workable but it was just always so messy and I would have to like I would mix it on my hand I think if I'm going to keep it, that's the method. I'm going to go with it in a jar and use it. Next would be the City Color Primer Spray. Now, I can't say, I don't think this ever primed my face. But part of my problem is I don't ever remember to use it. I don't, it's not only this. I think any primer spray that I have, and I do have one in my finish 20 in 2020. Just because I don't remember to use this a primer spray, I am so accustomed to a cream product um, for primer. But in addition to that, I don't think this primed my face at all. Did anything for my face, and I usually use it now to just wet my brushes if I needed to um, to foil an eyeshadow. Um, sometimes I wet it. Um, I use it to just spray my face if I want. I find my face looking cakey. Next is something that's old, and I think maybe because it's old, it's not um, doing what it's supposed to do. And this is my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Branded. And I was using this all of last year. It's not like I left this abandoned and then just picked it up. I was using it, and then I noticed sometime late last year that my eyeshadows were creasing and that. They weren't looking as pigmented as they should. So I switched my primer, which was my e.l.f. eyelid primer, to a new e.l.f. eyelid primer. Got the same results. Then I bought a Profusion eyelid primer. Tried it with it. Got the same results. Tried it um, with another primer. Is it the Urban Decay or Too Faced? One of those. 
and it still did the same thing so i felt after all those different using this on top of all those primers that really and truly this was a dot um i have put it on my hand and i can see that it dries down there's no tacky tackiness to it or anything like that so i'm thinking that's why my eyeshadows are creasing or they're just not staying on as this they. is an old product but i recently did open this last year and you can see i've more or less used a lot of it right now it is somewhere i think right here and i was forcing myself to try and use it up but this is just too light for me this i find that when i wear it you see like it's just too light and this is in the color brightening from elf this is the ag lifting concealer that is going in my trash definitely not gonna force myself to use it up next i have this nars larger than life long wearing eyeliner got this um as a gift with purchase from sephora sometime i can't remember it not last year it could have been the year before and every time i wore it i realized that it would just bleed it was it's so soft even if i use it um i've been trying to use it on my lid smudge it out for smoky eyes and that's the only way i um more or less i get used out of it but other than that it i can't use it 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 just sometimes all here it's melting i'm after a while sometimes i'm blinking and i'm feeling like if the it's getting in my eyes it's just so it's really creamy um the reason it's here too is just because i don't do a lot of smoky looks and so it's not going to get a lot of use i may see if my sister wants it or have a friend come in um to spend some time with me if she wants it give it to somebody but i have enough black eyeliners that if i want to smoke out a day could definitely just use one of those I have another eyeliner this is my urban decay 24 hour in honey and i recently sharpened it to try to use it out i don't know i i just find that it's soft and everything like that and it's functioning but just the color looking it looks really really horrible on my lid and i i just don't like this color and i've been trying to force myself to use it but i just don't like the color anymore and i may gift it or i was thinking i should keep it at least maybe up until summer and see if i can use it with some brighter bolder looks um so i'm gonna keep that a, maybe a little and play around it but right now it's just not working and the last product will be this la colors ice pigment powder i bought this actually when i bought this la colors matte foundation and at first i thought oh wow it's like crushed pigments and it is so when i did this i swatched it in the store it was this is what it looks like and it looks like wow it's like liquid you know gold kind of thing that's what i fell in love with it so i mean it looks kind of pigmented right i find that it it did blend out at first but then every time i wore this on my lid whether i wet it and foil it and apply it or tap it on dry using like a glitter um primer this thing will fade i find that there's tons of fallout and i just don't have the time for that i and i think this wasn't this was one of the more expensive pigments that i have bought i so regret buying this and i end up buying two the other one performs a little better but this one flakes off does not stay feed etc so i don't like this and i will definitely maybe pass this on to my niece if she wants to play with it or just dump this all together i don't i really don't like it so that's it there those are the products that since i've started back using makeup that i realized just not working for me and i am fed up forcing myself to try to use it up i'm sure i'm gonna maybe sometime closer to mid-year i will have another video like this because i'm using up a lot more of my products now and i may do another video like this if you guys like it so let me know in the comment section below if you guys like um this type of video if there's a product that's not working for you guys no share it let's share it with each other what's happening i love to hear from you guys i love to hear what's going on with you so until my next video thank you guys Bye.